Hey y'all, I uh, appreciate you stopping in today. Uh, we're going to shoot a little video today and uh, I guess it's uh, like a little controversy going on or uh, something that's very debatable. Um, I've been doing some research on it, been popping on a few forums and uh, actually viewed a few videos on YouTube about it, uh, but they weren't going into detail. Um, basically guys, it's about startup. It's about uh, opening, opening, what service valve do we open first? Do we open our suction or do we open our liquid? Now of course before we uh, even get to that start point we need to make sure and ensure that we braze with nitrogen okay we want to flow nitrogen so we don't get that flake and all that funk in our lines um, after we've done that we want to take and we want to pressure test it um, I actually use nitrogen to pressure test and so once we've done that we leak checked it to ensure we have no leaks then we'll move on and we'll uh, we'll evacuate we'll uh, pull a nice nice good vacuum utilizing a vacuum micron Gauge, and we're going to go at least to at least a minimum of 500 microns. Um, and then once we do that, and that's achieved, and uh, we no longer we don't have any moisture in the system, and we we're, we're assured we have no leaks, then it's going to be time to move on, and we're going to move on to opening the valves there. And that's my point, guys. Uh, what valve do you open first? Now I've been in the trade a while, and uh, ever since I was an apprentice, I have opened up the uh, the suction line. And I'm going to tell on myself here, guys. I don't know the real reason why I did that. I guess maybe I was following suit with how my journeyman always did it, and then I, it just stuck with me. But uh, the day and age we're in, we need to know why we're doing things, guys. And uh, ba basically, what the controversy was stirred up about was uh, a lot of a lot of people are saying open the liquid line, but then you had the suction line people saying, well, if you open the liquid line first, then the oil out of the crankcase is going to shoot out and it's going to hit the TXV and then you're going to be in a mess with your, your coil in there. And if it happens to make it past the coil, then you're going to get uh, uh, a big old slug coming back to the compressor and, and, and uh, possibly uh, ruining it, it. So... Um, I'm not positive guys, but what we're going to do here is I'm going to go right directly to the horse's mouth And I, this is the way I think we, we should handle this. Okay. I, I appreciate y'all watching and I, I'm Open for debate guys to so just chime on in. Okay. Thank y'all. I'll be right back. Okay guys uh, I reckon we're ready to get started here. Uh, I'm sorry. It took me a minute, but I had to uh, get prepared as you can see um, Basically, I thought this might be a fun video where uh, you know, we can get a few responses of uh, what everybody thinks but uh, right here, what I meant by going to the horse's mouth, this is the horse's mouth. We need to start, start following our, our installer guides. And, uh, you know, there's criteria that must be met in there. And uh, basically what I've done here is I've got several different guides. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started with the American Standard Installer Guide Heat Pump 4A6H7 on the left. And we're going to come right over here to the right and we're going to... Uh, utilize the installer guide condensing unit for a 7A6. These are both platinum series American Standard units. So y'all have to bear with me a minute man my Adobe Reader something screwed up on my computer this thing's acting all glitchy but uh, anyway let's uh, come on down here if we can and what we're gonna do here is uh, right there you see your table of contents and uh, we have a section 1 through 15 and the manufacturer would actually like you to follow these guidelines and uh, what we're actually going to be looking for is this section 10 right here. So, uh, and, you know, 1 through uh, 9 need to be met before we even, you know, do section 10. So, the service valve. So, let's get on down here. Like I said, this thing's all glitchy. So, just bear with me. It's been doing this all day. Don't know if my Adobe screwed up or I'm, I don't know. It's probably these HD videos I'm putting up making everything slow. Okay, guys, we're almost there. Okay, here we are on page 11 here. And page 11 uh, states, section 10, service valves. 10.1, open the gas service valve. Okay? And on page 12 here, it says, open the liquid service valve. Now, to me... Um, if I'm reading something on page 11 or whatnot or something that, uh, you know, precedes something, I'm going to actually do that first. So I'm looking, the first thing I see is open the gas service valve or suction line there. I'm going to open the suction line. And, you know, 10.1, the second part of it is open the liquid service valve. So, 
In that order, I would actually do it that way. Suction valve, liquid, liquid valve, liquid line. So uh, basically, uh, this is an American Standard Guidelines. I install American Standard equipment, so I'm going to be following these guidelines. All right, let's pop over here to the to the condensing unit over here, the 4A7A6. And like I said, just bear with me. I'm sorry this thing's so slow. But uh, basically, these mirror each other other than like the wiring diagrams and all that good stuff. But uh, let's let's come on down to, uh, looks like it's, uh, da -da -da -da, looks like it's page 11 on this one also. All right, so let's get down here. It'll probably freeze up on page 9. <laughs> I'm going to say it's flowing good, but as soon as I say that, it's going to stop. Come on, girl. You can do it. Okay, guys, we made it to page 11. And right here again, guys, we have uh, section 10. 10.1, open the gas service valve. Open your suction line. 10.1 on page 12, open the liquid line. Okay? That's the way I'm going to follow the criteria on this. Okay, guys, uh, I figured, you know, I'm, you know, I just can't show you American Standard, so let's just take a, I've, I found some PDS on a few other manufacturers, so if you'll please just bear with me, i got to get set up again. I'll be right back to you. Okay, y'all, uh, what we've done here is we've uh, pulled up a couple of more manufacturers here. Uh, you know, we started out with the American Standard heat pump and a condensing unit. Uh, right here on the left, we're looking at a Linux HS26 series uh, air conditioner, and over here on the right, we're looking at a carrier, um, 38 EC. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to see what the criteria uh, these manufacturers are, are requesting here. So uh, let's get on down to it here. Hopefully I can scroll through this and oh, look at it go. Okay, I've highlighted this one, but uh, let's go down here to the bottom just to, to show you here. Um, right here, it states startup procedures for this particular unit. So we have uh, rotate the fan, number one, inspect all factory field wiring, yada, yada, yada. And let's go up here to number three where I've actually highlighted it so I can see it this time. Number three, after evacuation is complete, open the liquid line and vapor line service valves to release the refrigerant charge contained in the outdoor unit into the system. Okay, to me that's a little vague um, I would like to see after evacuation is complete, open the liquid line first and then proceed to open the vacuum line service valves. However, I guess like I was saying, you know, if something comes first, it looks to me like that's the way you should do it. So the first thing that it states is open liquid line and vapor line. I would like to see then the vapor line, but uh, anyway, that's uh, redundant. Um, okay, let's uh, pop over here to the, uh, to the carrier here. And see if we can uh, see see anything on this one. Okay, guys. Like I said, most of these they're going to follow like a suit, and uh, so any of your installation guys, no matter what you're reading, it's going to pretty much. Like I said, not be verbatim, but it's going to pretty much follow these steps. And right here, guys, all right, on the carrier, startup, back seat, open liquid and suction line service valves, open liquid line first to equalize pressure and reduce oil flow to suction line. Okay, here's here we go. Now we finally found uh, found a uh, PDF, a uh, uh, installation guide here that's actually saying something. Uh, back seat open liquid and suction line service valves first open liquid line first to equalize pressure and reduce oil flow to suction line okay guys uh, that's pretty much that's not vague that's actually spelling it out for you so uh, I've actually got a, another couple of uh, manufacturers here and uh, maybe we can get into a debate about this guys uh, I appreciate you watching and sticking with me let me uh, hit on over there to those okay guys Okay guys, we've uh, got another couple of manufacturers on here, 
and uh, basically the one on the left here is the installation instructions R410A split system air conditioner product family N4A3 and yada 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 I believe this is a temp star right here guys and uh, over here to the right we have a condensing unit air conditioning installation and service reference and this here is Goodman and Amana okay alright guys uh, let's uh, go ahead and hopefully this thing don't hang up on me again but uh, let's go ahead and scroll down here and uh, man, she's flying now. Oh, okay, here we go, right here, guys. Note, open the suction service valve first, period. If the liquid service valve is opened first, oil from the compressor may be drawn into the indoor coil TXV, restricting refrigerant flow and affecting operation of the system. Okay, that uh, that's not vague whatsoever, guys. That's uh, pretty much cut and dry. I like that. You get an A for that there, Tim Star. All right, let's move over here to the Amana Goodman stuff and see how we do on this. Most of this stuff, like I said, man, it pretty much follows suit with uh, most of every installation guide I've seen. You know, it might be worded a little different, but it seems to be following suit pretty much, you know, brazen with your nitrogen and, and all that good stuff. So it looks like I overshot it there. Let's pull it back down. And this is what Goodman Amana has to say. Open the suction service valve first. Wow, look at that exclamation point. I've never seen that before in a service installation guide here. Open the suction service valve first, exclamation point. If the liquid service valve is open first, oil from the compressor may be drawn into the indoor coil TXV, restricting refrigerant flow and affecting operation of the system. Okay, guys, uh, I've got a few more, but I, I, I reckon y'all are getting the picture here. <clears throat> I think this would actually make a good uh, debate, a good forum here, and I hope some of y'all will respond to it and uh, give me your thoughts on the subject. Um, I, I think it would really be fantastic if somebody actually had something from like Bristol or Copeland or something like that, the compressor manufacturers, and I think that would be fantastic. Maybe y'all can uh, send me a PDF. And... Uh, you know, if, uh, if y'all, some of y'all feel strongly about opening the suction line, and some of y'all feel strong about opening the liquid line, and, uh, and y'all have got some uh, pertinent uh, information on it, such as a PDF or whatnot, where we can actually look at it, and uh, may, I'll, I'll actually put it up on here. But, uh, guys, my conclusion to this is it's all about following your installation guides. The manufacturers and the engineers want you to do, you know, do it their way. You know, the engineers that uh, work for the manufacturing companies, you know, they weren't, you know, in the back playing games writing this stuff out. There's actually, I guess, a reason behind the madness. And uh, each one of these uh, uh, installation guides we've looked at, some of them were different. So, but anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all watching my video. Um, and I just want to thank y'all so much. And I reckon we'll see y'all real soon. Take care. Bye.